Hello and welcome to episode 56 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. So to start off this episode, let's just remind ourselves how we're doing, where we are in the season, where we are in the transfer window. We're quite far into the transfer window. That's maybe a slight concern, is that we don't really have anyone lined up. We got Ben Arthur on loan. I'm thinking about pulling the trigger on that one today. I don't even think we need to discuss that, do we? I mean, it's not exactly one for the future, but in terms of a six-month loan signing, although it takes three million out of the transfer budget, I think we're going to sell some players. I shouldn't think that would be a problem. So yeah, in the last episode, we played pretty well. The 3-0 against uh, Nantes was lovely, lovely work. And then the uh, Koyalapu chip to uh, win the uh, Coupe de France game against Marseille was, was delightful. Today, we've got two games in quick succession. Uh, Montpellier, that can be tricky, but they are 20th this season. Wow, they have taken quite a dip in form. They've only got three wins. It would be amazing to come away with anything less than a win at home against them. And then Stade Rene, doing a bit better. They're sneaking up on us. They're in seventh. Away from home, that could be tricky, especially only three days later. Be tempted to try and uh, rotate the squad a bit. But that could be dangerous for team spirit. So, uh, yeah, we've got mm, we've got a fair bit of time left in the transfer window, but we do need to uh, be a bit busier. We need to do some moves. We need to make some moves. So, lined up at the moment, we're trying for Robertson and Sessignon. Neither of those seem to be working. I'm not generally too optimistic that they'll ever go through. Ben Arthur for 3.7 million. I mean, if we can get that down slightly. Could get it down slightly, but I think this is a great signing for me. I think that's going to be a, you know, it's not long term, but we're not likely to be here long term. Chances are we may leave at the end of the season anyway. Dally Blind is one that a lot of you uh, weren't sure about. I think 13 million for him would be a really great way of getting a pinpoint passer into this side. He would be our best passer by a long shot. He can play in central midfield. I think we'd probably play him at left back as maybe a, an option off the bench, which would be maybe a weird role for him as a uh, seasoned international ex-Man United player. Well, current Man United player. Um, but I think if we make some sales, I'm actually, I'm pretty serious that I think this is a good option. I know a lot of you will disagree. 60 speed is maybe a bit concerning, but we're not buying him for, for defence. We're buying him for attack from that left-hand side. Whipping balls in, I think he'd be absolutely deadly. So definitely going to consider him. Ben Arthur, I guess that will go to the vote whether we should sign him, I suppose. 3.7 million isn't an insignificant amount of money. Another quick look at our team, and uh, actually we had a good comment from long-time commenter, excellent commenter, Ricardo Tavares, who uh, mentioned, and I agree, that neither Masunda or Emre Moore are quite doing it for us, are they? Um, Masunda valued at 18 million, Moore at 12 million. I can't imagine we'd take them to the next side that we go to. I'm not sure they would travel with Karine Diakra to wherever she's going next. Neither of them are getting the consistent minutes in this side worthy of those price tags. Cafu definitely first choice out on the right at the moment. And Masunda has really failed to uh, knock Wellington them off his perch in that attacking midfield position, especially with Ben Arthur maybe coming in. So I am going to do something that's maybe slightly controversial and transfer list them both. If we get an offer in for either of them, then I think the money could be better spent elsewhere. Uh, Mitrovic is on the transfer list already. We've got a few sides interested in him. Quite happy to let him go. There's definitely other options we could bring in instead of him. I think Berahino will keep his place in the side. Other than that, there's no more sales that we really need to do. Other than Pesetto, uh, 12 million we've been offered for the uh, for the big man. That would uh, get us a bit of salary back as well. What salary is he on? 664,000. We do need salary budget. That's where we're really struggling. Uh, we'll have to sell a big player like Mitrovic. What's he on? On 2 million. Or uh, Masundo's on 3.7 million. That's absolutely caning our transfer budget. Uh, we'll need to sell one of those two, I think, to get in blind if we do go for him. Quick reminder of where the scouts are. They're looking for an attacking midfield. They're struggling a bit there in Spain. Don't know whether to change that up or not. The scouts in England looking for centre forwards are coming back with some great options. So all of them just out of our reach. And then a left back. I don't know if we need a left back. I'm going to have one more look for an attacking midfielder. And we're going to go back to South America. That's where we uh, that's where we nabbed Wellington Nem from in the first place. And we're going to go for overall rating. It may be too late to see anything there, but we might find someone of interest. So we've had some negotiations back before our first game of the episode, and it's going to be, yep, it's Robertson and Sessignon. That's not happening, is it? Uh, Scouts brought us back something, an attacking midfield. Oh, it's Andres Pereira, a player we've already looked at and we don't want, which is a shame. He's a good passer, but um, yeah, but I don't fancy his uh, athletic stats much. His speed and physical contact strength in the ball is just too low. Joaquin, absolute Pez legend he is. 
He used to be one of my absolute favourite players back in his uh, in his heyday. Out that right wing, he used to be electric. I'm thinking he was sort of 90 pace type player. This is a regen of the great man. We won't be going for that. So let's take a look at the sides for uh, the Montpellier game against the bottom feeders Montpellier. And they're coming to Claremont. Um, yeah, they've, they've had a great side. They've been a really difficult team to play against. I don't understand how they're doing so badly. Co, a player that we looked at signing. He's got a new face, looking good. Um, he was a pain to play against. I don't know how they're doing so badly. I feel like we could have our pants pulled down here if we don't concentrate. Uh, we'll bring Cafu back in. As we said, I think he is our first choice. Dooling can come back in after his suspension for Toure. That puts us back up to 93. Team spirit, much better. Although, actually, having said that, we've been enjoying Benassa there. I think we're going to stick with him. The Moroccan. This duo and Cham Benassa duo is working really nicely. Dooling relegated to the bench. That's going to be hard to take. Everyone else looking decent. We could give Decore a rest, bring in Holgate there. Yeah, we'll play Holgate. I do like Holgate. He needs more minutes. 91 team spirit still looking good. I don't think we need to make any more changes. Let's go. Come on. So there's been a lot of talk in the comments recently about Kareem Diakra's future. Where will she be going? And uh, with the news that Arsene Wenger is stepping down at the end of the season, it does seem, it does feel like the uh, the obvious choice would be Kareem Diakra taking over at Arsenal. French woman in for French man. I'm pretty sure Arsene Wenger has actually spoken about Kareem Diakra before uh, in glowing terms. I can't remember what the quote was. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think that would be a good move. Cafu, great interception. And then he looks to turn on the afterburners and run into the space. He'll go into uh, Yang Karamo here. Holds it up, looks to slip in Koyalapu. Cafu's there with him. Oh, there's a slip there from Roussillon. Ball into Yang Karamo, lets it fall. Oh, wow, straight at the keeper. And even then the keeper didn't look confident. Really good first chance of the game there for Claremont. Nicely worked here. Big slip there for Roussillon, allowing Cafu to put a great ball in. Oh, anywhere either side of the keeper there. And Yang Karamo would have uh, got us off the mark here. Oh, great work from Dolly. Zagadou out of position. Oh, it's fallen now. Oh, great save from Bernardoni. First proper chance there for Montpellier. And we were very nearly caught out. We were rushing a little bit there. We looked a bit unsure of ourselves. Zagadou well out of position. That's a great ball in. And Inga with a great first touch. Forced Bernardoni into his first save of the game. And it was... Uh, yeah, could have easily been 1-0 there. We need to be careful. We've been dominating so far. Don't want to let him back in here. Bernadoni, good punch. Caramo will get to that ahead of Rousson. Now Koyalapu, lovely turn. Great first touch. Just about finds Wellington Nem. And Koyalapu again through the centre. It's opening up here. Away from his man. Yank. Go, Koyalapu. Oh, bollocks. You know, I always confuse myself by saying Yan Koyalapu, and then I forget what I'm doing when it comes to the football. Such are the difficulties of on-the-fly uh, on commentating. I can't use that as an excuse, and now Claremont will have another go here. Ball into Caramo. Doesn't fall. Benassa into Incham. Yan Caramo, and that's poor, and that's wide. Good ball into Ninga. Holgate comes out with a big, strong shoulder. Great turn there from Caramo. And he can slip in Cafu down this right-hand side. He's going to square up with Roussillon again. Steps away from him neatly. Chips it into the near post. Caramo's header glancing into the gloves of the keeper. And Benza now looks to turn away from Duarte. That's good work. Lovely ball to find a do. Sambia now into the box. Pokes it in. Ninga with the header. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't how it goes. This is not the plot today. 43 minutes in and we go behind here at home. It's against the run of play. We've had a lot of chances. Montpellier, the worst side in the league. They've only won three games this season. But I just had a feeling this was going to go badly. And Alcibiades miles off there. I don't even know why you're jumping there, you fool. Oh, Nem picks it up. That's a mistake. Koyalapu now. Inside. Goodwin Koyalapu. Can he get us back into this one? Curls it. Yes, he can. Goodwin Koyalapu. The man with the golden boots, with the golden touch. Everything he touches with those boots turns to goals. Yeah, that's, that's nice. There's something in that. I need to work on that. Everything turns to goal. Everything he touches turns to goals. Well, that certainly did. And his excellent form continues. That's three goals now in his last two games. And he was given way too much time. Way too much time in the box. You can't allow him to pick his spot. Caramo's uh, attack was a bit uh, isolated. Couldn't do anything with it. But they were unable to clear. And they gave him, yeah, acres of space. Always going to curl that one. 
And uh, yeah, perfect. Perfect way to end the half. We didn't want to go in a goal down. And this should be a good angle. Just close him down there. There, there. No, goal. So excellent end to the half there, of course. Getting back in this one. It's no less than we deserved. We were excellent in that first half. Only four shots on target there. Montpellier have had some efforts. Uh, none of them particularly convincing or anywhere near dangerous. But yeah, maybe we're over-exaggerating how well we're doing here. We need to be efficient in this second half. Kill the game off. Can't be losing to this side. Come on. Good ball into CO. Sagadu doesn't get there. Oh, ho, ho, off the post. CO nearly getting their head again. That's a player we looked at signing. Nem, lovely work. Haven't seen enough of this driving running from the Brazilian this season. Oh, and then he loses out. Fuck's sake. Zagadou. Not exactly the most elegant of tackles, but it worked. And jam into Ben Asser. He's fouled there, surely, in the build-up. Cafu now. Back into Ben Asser. Yes! Oh, just wide. Finishing is one thing that actually Ben Asser does lack. That's a great attack there. And Cham and Ben Asser linking up in the build-up. Cafu stepping inside. Simple ball back into Ben Asser. Shot pulled wide. Oh, lovely turn from Ninga. Now Sio back into Ninga. Danger here. Sio's effort wide again. <sighs> really great interplay between those two. We know how dangerous they are. I don't know how they're doing so badly this season. But oh, as a centre-forward duo... We know how dangerous they can be, and that proves it there. If the shot had been on target, it could have been a different story. CO slips it through to Ninga. Holgate's with him. He steps back inside, and then again. Good ball in. Zagadou's there. Clears, but not well. Now Dolly can put another ball in. Holgate misses the header. No problem for Bernardoni, though. Easy take. Now Cafu. He's looked right in this one. Steps inside. Finds Caramo. Back to Wellington Nem. We can sneak a ball into uh, Koyalapu. Looks to turn away. Lovely work. Ball inside to Wellington Nem. Gets it out of his feet. Well, shot comes in straight at the keeper again. Oh, lovely work here again. Sio with the layoff to Ninga. Holgate. Vital challenge. No way. No, 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 no. Come on. Nothing wrong with that at all, ref. This is a very dangerous free kick position. It's going to be Sio over this one. The man that we continued to look at during the transfer window. Never went for... Oh. Fall to him again. Ooh, nearly on the second chance effort. Pellier again. Good build up here. Ninga. Oh, Ben Asser, Great tackle. And now he can uh, launch the counter attack. Such strong running through the center. Slips in Jan Karamo. Oh, he's just offside. No. It was a good run. Oh, I mean, that is tight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't win it back. This is not working. Game nearly at an end here. CO back out to Sessignon. Good block. Still can't win it back. Zagadou finally. Oh my god, get it. Duarte turns. All down the line. We'll find Koyalapu. Karamo's out there with him. He'll slip him in down the line. He's got a man with him. Oh, does him. Has to cut back though. No real options. Duarte inside to uh, Koyalapu. He'll turn. Shot. Yes. <laughs> well, well, well. There he is again in absolutely sparkling form. 24 carat form, you could say. And uh, yeah, that we, we looked like we were chucking this one away. We've been a poor, poor reflection of this great Claremont side in the second half. We've not been good. Once again, they're just a little slow to respond here. And that's a lovely little Cruyff turn from Koyalapu. Onto the right foot. Sweeps it past the keeper. And uh, Montpellier absolutely looked like they were playing their way back into this one. Which would have been a really, really disappointing way to drop points. Against the worst side in the league. We've uh, managed to dig something out right at the end. So triple substitution to end it off. And we're going defensive here. Two defensive midfielders coming on. Just got to hang on to this one. Montpellier have looked dangerous. Especially their two strikers. Who always look like they could uh, link up and find a goal. Five minutes left. We don't want to rule that out. Put on some reinforcement. Ninga turns. Lovely ball out to Roussillon. Sibiadi's there with him. Great work from the right back. Lovely, lovely stuff. Exactly what we needed. And now Emre Moore. We'll try and run at this defence. Fresh legs. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wins it back, though. Good ball into Koyalapu. Oh, the footwork. Oh, and again, it was taken out. That would have been one of the goals of the season. 
Hoi Alapu is playing with a confidence and with a style that is beautiful to see from such a young player as well. If he hadn't been taken out there, he probably would have finished that as well for the hat-trick. And there we are, full time here and uh, two goals late in both halves from Goodwin Koyalapu. Such a consistent finisher, that's what we love about him. And uh, the first goal he was given way too much time. The second goal, well he didn't have much time or space but he created it with some excellent footwork. And uh, yeah, that's the three points which we could not afford to drop against a very poor side. Shadow of their former selves, but we gave them a bloody good chance of getting into it, of getting some points out of that one. We, were, we really were saved by Goodwin there, who's in incredible goal-scoring form. Definitely on course for Golden Boot this season. And uh, that would be a huge achievement for uh, an 18-year-old striker. Who, uh, when we bought him, we didn't even really expect him to be first choice. We didn't really with Caramo as well. But think how well they've both performed. So we creep up. Only three points now behind PSG. Only a couple of points off those Champions League spots. Nice, who started so strongly, have dropped off a little bit. They've scored the most goals. They've scored a lot. Of, I know we've scored the most goals. I know Marseille have scored more goals. But we're, we're getting there. We are uh, certainly putting them away. And yeah, Montpellier stay rock bottom. Only 12 points. Minus 19 goal difference for them. The fat shake is in. We haven't heard from him in a while. He's quite excited about five wins in a row. I mean, that would be exciting. I don't think we've ever managed to do that. And I think every time this happens, we end up losing. Uh, and today is going to be a tricky game as well. So I can definitely see that happening. Let's go and take a look at the sides. So we travel away to start Rene. So I think with, uh, with Benassa on a downward arrow, well, he was excellent in the last game, but on a downward arrow, I think he's going to be staying on the bench. So Dooling gets another start. It's been a while since we've seen our uh, our captain back in. We've got to give him the armband. Uh, Wellington Nem somehow snuck it in that one. It should have been in Cham. Emre Moore still on a downward arrow. I think we're going to have to permanently move you out of that position. Um, I mean, you'd think we should start Masunda here, but Kafi was so good in that last game, even quite tired. I think we're going to start him. We can always bring Masunda on. Everyone else is looking decent. Zagadou on a downward. Could give Tisserand a run out. He's on a green arrow today. Yeah, we'll give him a go. Holgate was good in the last game, but he's very, very tired. Everyone else looking good. Uh, Stard Rene. I mean, they've got Gorku as playing as a centre forward. They shouldn't be in seventh, if that's what they're going to do. They've got Sara on the left. He's a well-rated young winger. A decent centre back, but yeah. It doesn't look like a side we should be worried about, but I feel like, especially with the five games in a row just about to uh, come our way, I think this is going to be a really difficult one. So here we are, a trip to Stade René. This is a lovely little stadium here. It's a night game. Claremont fans, I'm sure, have travelled en masse, considering how well we're doing in the league. Imagine what the fan base must be like now, compared to a few years ago. Now we're in Europe, challenging for the league, an exciting manager, an exciting young side. I'd love to be a Claremont foot fan right now. Here comes Kazri. Oh, that's a delightful ball into Gurkouf. Into the box now. Decore and Tisserand with him. Dangerous ball in. Oh, off the line. Great save by Bernardoni. And then a panicked clearance. The danger still not gone though. Decore should win this one. Wow, that was uh, that was dangerous. Now Wellington um, fires it wide to Cafu. Oh, beats his man. He can put a ball in now. Caramo at the nip at the far post. <sighs> Could have fallen anywhere. Oh, and Cham. Not giving them a moment's rest. And now he looks to find a crossing opportunity. Steps back inside. Good ball in. Kyalapu there with the header. Ooh, just wide. First big chance of the game there. Good win, Kyalapu nearly continuing his scoring run. Great work from Incham to win it back. Cut back inside. Found a great ball in. Couldn't quite direct that on goal. Tisserand will go for this with Gorkouf. Wins the header well. Now Caramo can slip in Koyalapu. Oh, lovely first touch. Oh, that is absolutely sublime. And this boy is in the form of his career. His short, short career. That is now five goals in his last three games. And the first touch there. Just to tie that centre back in knots. It was Caramo who supplied the through ball. The young guns celebrate together. That front three, Cafu. Koyalapu and Karamo is looking electric at the moment. Seems like there's nothing they can't do. And uh, it was a great header from Tisserand beating the old man Gorkouf. And then this little touch inside here. Oh, the defender had no clue where he was. Poked finish with the outside of the right boot. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take another look here. It's this defender here obviously expecting him to take it onto his right foot, but he steps back onto the left. 
and then pokes it with the right. Oh, oh. Kazri, lovely ball into Gorku, steps away, oh, off the post. Oh, Tissaran, no, 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 my God. Hate it. So slow to respond there, but we will get it away here. And now Cafu, oh, we've seen him do this ball in the last game. Keeper comes out well. Cafu, he knows that one. Nice ball into Gorku. Kazri now, danger here. Oh, that's a good finish. Just stood off him. Gave him way too much time there. Let's take another look at this. In Cham slips, I don't think that had much of a uh, much of a say here. But Dooling, what are you doing? Got to be more aware there. The gaps between the centre-backs and the defensive midfield was just filled in there by Kazri. And Dooling was miles off. Alcibiadi slow to respond. Great finish. And uh, yeah, we're even here again. That's no good. That is no good. Caramo into Wellington Neb. Down the line looking for Koyalapu. Lovely ball. Oh, Koyalapu somehow still on it. Could be Koyalapu. Can he make it? Oh, should have finished that. Looked to put power into that rather than craft. Great determination, though, to even get the shot off. Oh, Kazri, great first touch, great finish. Fuck! Where did that come from? You could tell I'd switched off because I'd stopped talking. But that was far too easy. It's a great ball in. But Decore, flat-footed. Kazri with a great finish. We're behind here. This is exactly how I saw this one playing out. And it's half-time, and that's not good enough. That's not good enough at all. Kazri with a double. He's been playing great in real life at the moment. He's having a bit of a career resurgence after, I think, was he at Sunderland or Stoke? Um, but he's proved himself to be a good goal scorer today. We've only created one shot on target. We need to do better. Good leap from Karamo. Koyalapu now can slip in Duarte. He's got Cafu there, but he decides to go back. Beats Traore, though. Oh, that's lovely work. Still, Dooley now into Koyalapu. Holds off his man. It's getting a little bit congested. Duarte ball in. In Cham. Caramo. Oh, great strength. Could still fall. Oh, well, we, uh, yeah. Too indecisive there. Way too indecisive. Tried to get the ball in. Great work from Incham to hold it up. Caramo showed great strength. Almost fell. Oh, Nem beats his man. He's got time now to put the right ball in. Cafu with the acrobatics. Wow. That would have been something special. Well, we're putting the pressure on here early doors. Went into Nem. See you later. It's a great ball in. Cafu. Wow, that would have been very, very spectacular, especially on his left. And Cham. Camera looks to put it on. Alcibiades there. Could fall. Does fall to Jonathan Cafu. Aware at the far post. Able to poke it past the keeper. And uh, yeah, 60 minutes in. It's on as even. We're back in this. Cafu's deserved a goal recently. He's been really, really good. He's shown the young players of Moore and Masunda. Well, a bit of experience out on the wing can do for you bit smarter. Relies less on his pace, although he is electric. Um, but yeah, there. He was just hanging around at the far post. And uh, yeah, beautiful little uh, little poke. We're back in it. Tisserand steams through, wins it back. And then finds Dooling. He can put it through the centre now, looking for Big Yan. Oh, too much of it there. Oh, oh, Yan! Yan! Oh, Yan, Yan, he is the man. Not sure if he really deserved that, but you've got to give him points for determination. And that star Rene player will be having nightmares about this one. His first touch wasn't good enough here. Took it back into the path of the defender, but somehow, I mean, it just sort of fell to him. And then back onto the left, finished. The number 15. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dear. Let's take a look at that there. Oof, I mean... More luck than judgment, you might say. But the finish... Yeah, it was pretty easy as well. Well, we're ahead here. Didn't see that coming. Nem into uh, Dooling. Nice turn from him, but Jean Vier wins it back. Now they could hit us on the break here. It's three on three. Decore is coming across. Good turn inside. Lovely ball. Bernardoni, you've made a meal of that. Oh, my God. Gorku for the second chance. Oh, oh. Oh, it looked like Bernardoni was running in sand there. How did he not get to that? Decore's done, and that is a gorgeous ball. Bernardoni committed just about got his feet to it as well. It's not confident goalkeeping. Or it is, depending on how you look at it. 
Only a minute left in this one. Will Rene be able to work something here? Kazri has been the most dangerous. Somehow it's come back to him. Oh, not a free kick. This is going to win badly, isn't it? It's going to win badly. It's a chance for Kazri to get his hat-trick. Surely too far out, but we've said that before. Kazri will all step over it. The wall jumps too early. Goof. Score goof even. Goof goof. Into Bernadoni's gloves. Let's just keep hold of it now. Less than a minute left here. Sibiadi into uh, Jan Karamo. Smart play there from Big Jan. Sibiadi will have a chance to put one more ball in. It's game over here. Can Koyalipu get the hat trick? He can't. But we get a massive, massive win. Really didn't see that coming. We uh, look second best, but we definitely pulled it out of the bag. That shows uh, that this Claremont team is made of tough stuff this season. Has to be said. We've come back in a lot of games. I'd love to know the stats, how many games we've come from behind to win. But uh, this Koyalipu goal here, I love that touch inside. Love the finish. Great stuff. So yeah, stats again showing that Stade Rene were more than a match for us. We had possession, but they had a lot of shots. Kazri was unplayable at times. We've come away with a win, and that front three, 6.5s all round, every one of them getting on the score sheet. That's what you want to see. So another win. And we stay in fourth, still only three points behind PSG and Monaco. It means that a head-to-head -head matchup against them now would see us, well, depending on the goal difference, see us possibly go top. How exciting is that? And we're almost halfway through the season. Well, we're into January. So, uh, yeah, very, very promising. And it uh, looks like we are going to have a negotiation to look at here, but things still going very slowly when it comes to this. Scouts are back. And uh, the fat, uh, fat Shake, very pleased. Fine work in stringing together a five-match winning streak. I think that's the first time we've done that. We're definitely is. We've not seen this message before. Hope to see this air of positivity around the club continue. Oh, we get a tasty little 500k. That's nice, although we really need wage budget at the moment, but fine. Probably going to have to sell some players. It looks like it's going to go fairly late into the transfer window. Let's take a look and see what the scouts got for us. It's Vincent Janssen. I mean, he'd be great, but we can't sign him at the moment. And I can't see who we're going to uh, get to 79 in this window. He's only 26. Wow, he's um, yeah, he's good. He'd be excellent. So there we have it. A great streak of wins. Koyalapu, top of the goal rankings ahead of Neymar and, and Kazri. Yeah, he's been in great goal scoring form all season. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about just signing Ben Arthur. I think that might go to the Patreon vote. And also let me know what you think about Dali Blind. I know, I know he's slow and old, but just think of him whipping balls in from that left-hand side into Koyalapu and Karamo. It would be beautiful. I'm sure it would be beautiful. I'll see you in a bit.